I am Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Forced by Entertainment. And today we are back for another first time watching reaction. Uh, yes, today we're going to be watching a movie that neither one of us have seen. And that is 1989's Field of Dreams. Yes, it seems to be a baseball classic. I've heard about it my entire life. Uh, just have not ever taken the time to watch the no, movie. No, me neither. So I figured with baseball season upon us, uh, it's now or never. It's yeah. a good time to watch a, what seems to be, again, a, a baseball classic. For all you baseball fans out there and movie fans alike, let's just combine them. Yes, let's it's, do. Well, I mean, we'll see. I, I know it's about baseball. Yeah, that's about all I know. Yeah, so <laughs> seems right. Yeah, <laughs> and I know like ESPN still, they occasionally do something at this field that that, that is in this movie. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I know. Uh, but before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to Force of Light Entertainment and you enjoy movie reactions, you enjoy movie reviews, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Also, ring the notification bell and smash the thumbs up. We appreciate that very much. But uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, let's check out Field of Dreams. My father's name was John Kinsella. He settled in Chicago where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. He played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. Already an old man working at the naval yards when I was born in 1952. Mom died when I was three, and I suppose Dad did the best he could. Dad was a Yankees fan then, so of course I rooted for Brooklyn. <laughs> but in 58, and I met Annie. After graduation, we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. Dad died that fall. A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> I'm 36 years old. I love my family. I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Interesting. Interesting setup. <laughs> Kevin Costner's brand really is like middle America. It is. It's true. <laughs> it's always been, I guess. Like in a cornfield. <laughs> or, or, specifically. or out in the wild. <laughs> Somewhere over the flyover states, as they say. If you build it, he will come. I know that quote from this movie. Oh, I love that. That voice just now, what was it? We didn't hear anything. If you build it, he will come. Okay, he you must come. have heard that. Yeah, that one time it said he will come. Kids are in the radio. Nope. Hey, are you really hearing voices? Just one. What did it say? If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? <laughs> Good question. I think you're gonna need to build it. You can't ignore that. <laughs> Bye. It's okay, honey. I'm, I'm just talking to the cornfield. <laughs> what if the voice calls while you're gone? Take a message. <laughs> I like how they have a random Maryland photo. It's so, I thought that too. I love the picture, yeah. but it doesn't really it's, fit it, a farmhouse. It's very unexpected. Yeah, in a farmhouse. <laughs> nice touch. Do you ever hear voices out there? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the field. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Noises. Yeah, that darn tractor. Uh, nice talking to you. Walk it off. <laughs> if you build it, he will come. All right, that's <laughs> Who are you, huh? What do you want from me? He's like, I get it, but build what and who's coming? <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, I think he's seeing what he's supposed to build. There's the vision. He's like, oh. You don't suppose this is like acid flashback or anything, do you? I never took acid. Well, maybe it was for me. It's like a flash forward. <laughs> I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. 
Ooh, why do I not think this is such a good thing? If I build a baseball field out there that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Hmm. You're kidding. Uh-oh. -uh. She's like, I'm trying to be supportive. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. He's supposed to be so graceful and agile. Actually, to see him play again. Right and old wrong. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Bob. You actually thinking of doing this? No. I mean, I can't think of one good reason why I should, but... I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. What's your father got to do with all of this? I never forgave him for getting old. <laughs> I mean, it happens to the best of us, man. <laughs> He's ancient. He must have had dreams. They never did anything about him. I may have even heard voices too, but he sure didn't listen to them. And something tells me that this may be my last chance to do something about it. I want to build that field. You build that field. <laughs> do you think I'm crazy? She's like a little. <laughs> I don't know why his dreams have got me emotional. <laughs> if you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. That's right. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Ty Cobb called him the greatest left fielder of all time. Could he hit? Could he hit? Lifetime average, 356, third highest in history. He's gonna lose his farm. <laughs> <laughs> they threw the World Series. I love how they're just all watching. <laughs> it means they lost it on purpose. Except she was Joe. I mean, if he's supposed to be throwing, how do you explain the fact that he hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one error? Huh? You can't. It's ridiculous. That little girl looks really familiar. She was in a lot of stuff from this time, or even when she got a little bit older, like in Now and Then. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. It means they never let him play the game again. Father said he saw him years later playing under a made-up name in some tenth-rate league in Carolina. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mention your father. I have just created something totally illogical. <laughs> He's happy about it, though. That's what I like about it. <laughs> Am I completely nuts? Huh? I completely. <laughs> just like a little bit. <laughs> Good baseball field, Ray. Something's gonna happen out there. I can see What's a softball? It means a left-handed pitcher, honey. So how bad is it? Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I said we'll probably almost break even. Ooh. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. So what are you saying? You can't keep the field? Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Daddy? In a minute, Karen. There's a man out there in the world. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> I didn't really expect to see him this early in the movie. Yeah. I didn't either, now that you say that. <laughs> Man, look at that old glove. Horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's it. <laughs> Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. That is good to be playing again, huh? Getting thrown out of baseball. It was like having part of me amputated. Can you pitch? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> He's like a giddy little kid. <laughs> so is this like a ghost version or like? <laughs> I, I, I'm i waiting for them to explain it, but that's kind of the best I can take from it. It's kind of like Sixth Sense before Sixth Sense. <laughs> but like, but other people can see him too, so. Yeah, that's true. Hit. See if you can hit my curve. 
He's like, I think I can. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you can hit the curveball. Home run. Right. You're a low ball hitter. I used to love traveling on the trains from town to town. Brass platoons in the lobbies, brass beds in the rooms. It was a crowd rising to their feet. The ball was hit deep. I played for nothing. What's with the lights? All the stadiums have them now. Is it harder to see the ball? Yeah, well, the owners found that more people could attend night games. Owners. Mr. Jackson, this is my wife, Annie. Guessing he can't leave the field. Ma'am? Oh. That's why he stopped and stared Are at you that. A ghost? Just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> what do you think? He's like, it's a logical question. You look real to me. <laughs> well, then I guess I'm real. Would you like to come inside? Thanks. I don't think I can. Can I come back again? Yeah. I built this for you. <laughs> well. There are others, you know. There were eight of us. They're all welcome here. Is he just gonna vanish? Or is he gonna run off into the so. or will he just run off into the cornfield? Is this heaven? No. <laughs> it's Iowa. <laughs> Wonder where he's been. <laughs> he's been chilling in the cornfield. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I thought he just doesn't care. Yeah. It's cooler that way. We're keeping this field. That's you. We are. <laughs> the stupid baseball field's gonna bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. You can walk away with a Thanks, nest Mark. egg, Ray. Thanks, Mark, but no. You yeah. never liked farming. It is true. You don't know the first thing about it. I know it. a lot about farming. Oh, you do? Yeah. How could you plow onto your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> <laughs> Any, I don't believe this guy. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out and he goes off to watch television. He used to be so normal. Yeah. We've got the whole team. <laughs> watch Joe, watch his feet. You can tell from the angle of bat. That's where the ball's gonna be. If you to run like that against Detroit, I don't want 20 games that year! <laughs> Six, that was 60. Oh, there's uh, what's his name? <laughs> He's about 68 years ago. <laughs> you guys want to play ball or what? Muscle bound shirt. Yeah, it, I forget what his name is. I would know it. It's Larry, honey, um, mom and everybody's leaving now. Can they see? Well, it was uh, I don't think so. you know, thanks for coming. I don't know. Yeah, because you think they would be like, well, who yeah, are these like, random is... people? I thought you two were gonna watch some game. Because it's not really a game, it's more like a practice. See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Oh, I just, I had a feeling. Who them? Them, them. Oh, man. What are you watching? The baseball man. <laughs> you really don't see him? I don't think it's very polite to try to make cute. other people feel stupid. <laughs> you don't see these people? It's not funny, Annie. <laughs> That's rough. That is rough. <laughs> they just think you've lost your mind. As a family. Yeah, the whole family is off the reservation. 68 years since I wore this uniform still fits me like a glove. You must keep in pretty good shape. Now let's see, I died in 70. That means I haven't had a cigarette in what? 18 years. Yay! Dinner! 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 Hey guys. <laughs> it's his new besties. <laughs> I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> I wish it made a little like sound when they kind of like evaporate. <laughs> like a mist. <laughs> yeah. Ease his pain. What? What did it say? Ease his pain? Sorry. I didn't understand. What? Ease his pain. Ease his pain. That's what I thought. What pain? All right? Who's pain? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. You gotta wait for the answer sometimes, bro. <laughs> he said ease his pain. Ease whose pain? Shoeless Joe's? I don't think so. You know this is gonna come back to his father. Yeah. 
He's my favorite writer, too. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? He writes software for interactive children's videos. I mean, they, they teach kids how to resolve their conflicts peacefully. What an amazing guy. Yeah, but what's he got to do with baseball? It's not his best work, but he wrote a story, a character that Mann created 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father, as a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field with Jackie Robinson and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Even now, I still dream that dream. He was a pioneer in the civil rights and the anti-war movement. I mean, the guy hung out with the Beatles. But in the end, it wasn't enough. And what he missed was baseball. Oh, my God. Andy, the guy hasn't been to a live baseball game since 1958. I think he's going to come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> off for Boston while we're going broke in Iowa. When primal forces of nature tell you to do something, the prudent thing is not to quibble over details. Yeah, but why do you have to go? Huh? What does this have to do with you? I don't know what, but there's something at Fenway Park, and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? Correct. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. <laughs> well, that's, uh... Well, interesting. Uh... <laughs> I was eating a hot dog. I had the same dream. <sighs> I'll help you pack. Very cool. <laughs> Guess he's going to Fenway. <laughs> there Hello he is! You. Darth Vader himself. Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Oh. We got a learning disability here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you the secret of life. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Wait, wait. I've come 1,500 miles to see you at the risk of losing my home and alienating my wife. All I'm asking is one minute. One minute. All the cosmic tumblers have clicked into place, and the universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. You're from the 60s. Well. Back to the 60s. Wait a back. second. Get back while you still can. You've changed. You know that? Peace, love, dope! Now get the hell out of here! <laughs> that, that didn't go too well. No. Does it feel like they're going to be uh, eating hot dogs at Fenway together? Right. He's not giving up. No, he's not, he's not going to give up. He will eat that hot he dog did, He didn't Fenway. come this far just to mm -hmm. give up. He's gonna act like he has a gun? I don't feel that's the best approach. <laughs> right. Plan B. You really pissed me off. Okay, just hold it. What the hell is that? It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to come with me for a little. He's like, this is just sad. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar. <laughs> So what? You kidnapping me? What's the deal here? I was hoping I could just convince you to come with me. Take you to a baseball game. You what? Red Sox A's. Why? Something will happen there. I don't I don't know what, but we'll find out when it does. My name's Ray Kinsella. You used my father's name for a character in one of your stories. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> I blame you for thinking that, but I read an interview you gave a long time ago about how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down. I don't even recall thinking that. This whole thing is so weird. I might go through with it. It's a long story, but it's a really good story. And I'll tell you on the way. Just come to this game with me. I swear to God, I will never bother you again. No. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers. I want them to start thinking for themselves. And I want my privacy. No, I meant... What do you want? <laughs> a dog and a beer. Two. Seven bucks. Seven bucks? That's like a what you pay for water That's at today's deal. games. Go the distance. Go the distance? What does that mean? Nice. Nineteen twenty-two. Oh, you didn't see that? See what? I'm sorry. I guess you didn't have to be here. What? Whenever you want to go, we can go. 
Fine, let's go. <laughs> I have a feeling there's some reason, though. What is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. Tell him! <laughs> you got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy? I already think you're crazy. <laughs> what did it say? Yeah, just tell him. Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. He's like, that's not what it said. <laughs> Moonlight Graham. Son! So what? What did I see, Ray? Eh? Chisholm, Minnesota! Did you hear the voice too? What told me to find you? Did you did you hear it? Go the distance. Oh. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna be a few days longer. We're we're going to Minnesota now. I don't believe this. Someday explain all this to me, okay? I'll try. Why didn't you tell him? And he ain't got no choice in the matter. Our grave is dead. He died in 1972. Half the towns in North America have a top grave. It's gonna be more. What else? He always wore an overcoat, and he always carried an umbrella. She moved to South Carolina after dark passed. She always wore blue. The shopkeepers in town would stock blue hats. If dark walked by, he'd buy one. When they cleaned out his office, boxes of blue hats that he never got around to give her. Do you know you're missing? His father, who lives in Baltimore, notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. <laughs> Oh, he went back in time. Oh, he did. This year's. I think people consider it uh, one of every year's top 10 best. <laughs> well, it's new with the <laughs> It's got the umbrella. It's him. Dr. Graham? Are you Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Well, I've come a very long way to see you. You know, I couldn't sleep tonight. You just asked sleep like a baby. <laughs> but when you got to the majors, you, you played only one inning of one game. What happened? Did you get to make the play? No, I hit the ball out of the end. Game ended, the season was over. I couldn't bear the thought of another year in the minors. I decided to hang them up. It was like having this close to your dream, and then watched them brush past you like a stranger in the crowd. It's not a good feeling. No. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa to talk to me about it 50 years after it happened? I think it's to ask you if you can do anything you want. If you can have a, a wish. I never got to bat in the major leagues to stare down a big league pitcher. Stare him down and just as he goes into his windup, make him think you know something he doesn't. To feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. To run the bases, wrap your arms around the bag. That's my wish for you, Silla. And is there enough magic out there in the moonlight to make this dream come true? What would you say if I said yes? I think I'd actually believe you. I really think you're supposed to come with us. No. Fifty years ago, for five minutes you came what you, you came this close. You would kill some men to get that close to their dream and not touch it. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> and he smiled. Maybe we're not supposed to take him with us. So now I don't know why in the hell we were supposed to come here. He got in a hit. He must have stayed in baseball. I don't know. That's a good point. Like how much good he was able to do for other people because his dream wasn't fulfilled. Right, true. I talked to the bank, asked them if we could miss a payment or two, and they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm to Mark. Right. We don't have the money. I've got to take Mr. Mann back to Boston first, all right? So it's, uh... No, I'm going to Iowa with you. We're coming home. Well, I can't quit now. Got to see this ballpark. <laughs> Not everyone can see. Nice. He looks like he's from the past. Yeah. How far are you going? Iowa. I think I just went a long while. I play baseball. Hop in. All right. I wonder if it's that dude. Which one? The one they just talked to. When he was young? Yeah. Yeah, maybe so. I'm Ray Kinsella. This is Terrence Mann. I'm Archie Graham. Yeah. Is that him? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's him. Very interesting. <laughs> what happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. Hmm. By the time I was 10. So when I was 14, I started to refuse. Why 14? That's why I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the kind of crap people always try to lay on me. It's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with your father. <laughs> anyway, when I was 17, after a while I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Made it back to the funeral. So it was like very unresolved. Yes, I have a feeling his father's gonna show up to this game. What was the awful thing you said? I said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Who was his hero? She was Joe Jackson. You knew he wasn't a criminal. Then why did you say it? I was 17. <laughs> Teenage angst. <laughs> I can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is, except mine. Hmm. This is Terrence Mann. Terry. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Terry. <laughs> He's coming to practice with the team. Yeah, well, he's gonna be able to do a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of them. That shoot is Joe Jackson. <laughs> of course it is. We got tired of just having practices, so we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. Where'd they come from? Where did we come from? You wouldn't believe how many guys... We're like, good question. <laughs> and Gil Hodges. The Ty Cobb wanted to play. None of us could stand a son of a... When we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ty. You came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, we'll go warm up. Yes, sir. Rookies. <laughs> Unbelievable. Safe. See if he can get a hit. Come on, Graham. You got it, Graham. <laughs> I remember he said, like, yeah. he winked at him. Hey, Knuckles, what do you throw at the kid for? He winked at me. Don't wink, kid. That is definitely the guy from Sandlot who plays, ironically, a dead baseball player that comes back. <laughs> Look for low and away. Right. But watch out for in your ear. <laughs> Takes one. Come on, Arch. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Well, he got out, but he got to run in. They're still playing? Because <laughs> he can't see him. Hi. <laughs> You're interrupting the game, Mark. Hey, it's time to put on your little fantasies and come down to Earth. They're real. You mean? No, you can't, can't see any of it. It's Terrence Mann. Yeah, right. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Ray, listen. <laughs> Let us buy you out. We'll leave the house. You can what, live on it rent-free as long as you want. What about the baseball field? Ray, do you realize how much this land is worth? <laughs> this guy's been really uptight the whole movie. Yeah. Daddy, we don't have to sell the farm. Karen, please. <laughs> Wait. People will come from all over. You'll think it's really boring. So they'll drive up and want to pay us. Like buying a ticket. You're not seriously <laughs> listening to this, are you? People will come. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is fascinating. It is. <laughs> People will come. This is fascinating. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. We got no choice. People will come, Ray. <laughs> They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children. We won't mind if you look around, you say. It's only twenty dollars per person. There you go. Just sign the papers. And they'll walk out to the bleachers, sit in shirt sleeves on a perfect afternoon, and they'll watch the game. And it'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters. <laughs> when the bank opens in the morning, they'll foreclose. This game. 
It's a part of our past, Ray. People will come, Ray. You will lose everything. You will be like the two different voices. <laughs> Kind of got me. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I was trying not to, too. I felt like a weirdo. <laughs> well, it, was, it was inspiring. I'm not saying. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. You sit here and you stare at nothing. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn sp. <gasps> oh. I'm going to call emergency. Annie, wait. What? You got a doctor in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but does he have his knowledge yet? <laughs> I don't think I, I and I thought he was an eye doctor. I thought he was the wrong type of doctor for this situation. Ah! Now he's got his doctor's knowledge. What do we got here? She fell. So he can yeah, he him. can see him. Hold it steady now. Get it out of there. <laughs> Hot dog. Stuck in her throat. <laughs> oh, she'll be all right. Thank you, Doc. No, son. Thank you. You can't go back, can hey, you? It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. He got to bat. Yeah. I best be getting on home. Or at least she begins to think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> that was really a thing with him. <laughs> hey, Doc. Good work, Doc. Don't miss you, Doc. Wouldn't work for me one day, will you, boys? Hey, Doc. Yeah. When did these ball players get here? <laughs> now he can see. <laughs> hey, rookie! You were good. Back to River. Do not sell this farm, Ray. You gotta keep this farm. <laughs> we're gonna call it a day. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? I'm uh, like, yes, I'm please. like, I'm interested. Yeah. Him. Wait a second, why him? I built this field, you wouldn't be here right. for it weren't for me. I want to see it. But you're not invited. <laughs> I haven't once asked what's in it for me. What are you saying, Ray? I'm saying, what's in it for me? <laughs> Is that why you did this? For you? I think you better stay here, Ray. Why? There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. Why? I gave an interview. What about Ebbets Field, when it charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find me? You lied to me. But you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. <laughs> you said your finger was a gun. <laughs> there is something out there, Ray. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. Are you going to write about it? What? You better not write about it. That's what I do. Good. I'm like, I need to know what's out there. <laughs> I want a full description. Take care of this family. Be careful. I'm like, that doesn't mean he's gonna die, does right. it? Right. And I wouldn't assume I was just gonna poof away, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh he did? Kind of. oh, okay. I bet he's gonna bring his dad back Bye. with him. Or something. I, yeah, some, something's gonna happen with the dad. What are you grinning at, you ghost? <laughs> if you build it, he will come. He's got to be his father. Has to be. Yeah. Is that his dad? Yeah, it's his dad. Oh my god. What? What is it? It's my father. He's his pain. Ghost. You need to apologize. <laughs> was you. Look at him. He's got his whole life in front of him and I'm not even a glint in his eye. What do I say to him? Why don't you introduce him to his granddaughter? I just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field. I'm John Kinsella. I'm Ray. This is 
is my daughter Karen. Karen, this is my. This is John. Hi, John. Hi, Karen. We're gonna let you two talk. It's very nice meeting you. You're so beautiful here. It was pretty there. Yeah. Um, can I ask you something? Is, is this heaven? <laughs> it's Iowa. <laughs> Is there a heaven? Oh yeah. It's the place dreams come true. I cast now like just shot me a tissue up just, there. Just went, went over there. <laughs> you did catch it. Maybe this is heaven. <laughs> They play up the emotion with the music. Oh, like this whole, like this, this whole movie. Just, it keeps trying to get me. <laughs> They're trying to get us. Hey, Dad. You want to have a catch? I'd like that. It's getting me, guys. <laughs> I didn't really expect that. <laughs> but they knew what they were doing. They played up the music. <laughs> they really let you sit in it. I think they wanted to make Cronman cry. <laughs> I think they did too. <laughs> that, was, that was the goal of the game here. <laughs> you let us know if it got you. <laughs> and they're coming. How did they know to come? They're definitely coming. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Man, I was fighting. I was fighting Ooh. so hard not to tear up more in that scene. But... Oh, I know. I was too. I was like, I could have let it go several <laughs> times. <laughs> this... I know. I was, as soon as the dad appeared, I was, I was in like fight mode of don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but man, they really get you with it. But, but that was a uh, field of dreams. Uh, so, so Natalie, do you want to start first? You want me to give you my thoughts? You want to go first? I thought it was a good movie that really touched on the heartstrings. <laughs> De they definitely, they definitely play that movie to be kind of magical, uh, inspired, kind of almost. There's almost similar theming to the movie I mentioned earlier with that little girl hook of like adults kind of losing their imagination, their love, you know, love of different things that you have as your kids, like, and like and like reclaiming that. Like healing. Yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. But, and that's what was closure. That's yeah. what was touching at the end of the movie. Definitely, the heartbeat of this movie was uh, the 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 healing of him and his father's relationship, which was touching at the end. Uh, obviously, we <laughs> we both teared up. But <laughs> I guess you could tell. But <laughs> but that was the type movie. That was the I'm I'm so sad now that I missed this one as a kid because that's the type. Even though it's it's mostly there's adult themes in it, like yeah. healing of relationships. But it's there, really yeah, it's cool because it is kind of almost like magical. There is there's also a childlikeness to kind of the magic of the movie kind of kind of that and i think i would have i would have so i can just tell you this i would have loved that movie as a kid like that would have been one of the movies i would have watched every time it came on tv oh it was cool and it's almost like you know the voice or whatever it was it's almost like it was god or i i don't know if it was supposed to be or not but it was just like it was just it was just touching i guess like yeah it was it was very again kind of inspiring uh again kind of dream you know if you build it they will come i have heard that quote i've heard that quote quoted throughout my life from this movie um but yeah it was just such a it, the word i would use if i'm going to summarize this movie is very charming yeah i knew you were going to say that it's very I, I was thinking the it's, same thing i think it's a great word it's such a charming movie like i mean really like i don't know it just it was so good and but then yeah. I, now i'm like but wait where did carl uh, where did uh, where did Vader go? <laughs> Is he coming back? <laughs> I need to know what happened to him. Did he come back? What happened there? 
Um, but yeah, Legend I has it. He's still out there. <laughs> uh, and man, uh, I, I didn't realize Carl or Jones. I did. I did. not like, I, well, I, we saw him in coming to America, but he was so charismatic. Right. It was like, dang, he was a, he was a good actor. He always had that booming voice. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. He did really good too. Yeah, I, I just thought it was a very charming movie. It very, was. very I enjoyed it. Very charming and like a precious movie. There's yeah, like Yeah, there's definitely like that preciousness to it. There that is you just kind of feel at moments throughout. And, and that's the type movie, a family friendly movie like that. We're really missing movies like that that have like this sense of kind of magic and yet they're kind of therapeutic, but like very family oriented. Um, yeah, you just don't really get movies like that today. You that's, know what else it kind of remind me of is a uh, a little story about Noah and the Ark. You know, it was kind of yeah. like he just it, there were kind of parallels. Like it was yeah. just like that. Anytime you ha someone has a dream like that, and it's just like people think he's you know they're crazy. Yes, yeah. And then it's like and it's just like but you know he yeah listen to he, it, he so. built it and the people came. It was it was it is it's it just, was it was cool. It was really good. So uh, yeah, I, what do I rate this on a rating of five? Five being the max level of hoots, max level of enjoyment. I'm gonna give this four and a half hoots. I thought it was a, an ex again such a charming movie. So That's actually exactly what I was gonna give it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it four and a half hoots as well. Well, four and a half hoots, <laughs> four and a half hoots, uh, not hoots. <laughs> four and a half hoots, both for both of us, for Filled of Dreams. What do you guys think of this movie? Did you grow up watching this movie? Were you like a kid watching this? You know, share your thoughts below. Kind of share your experience. Yeah, with yeah, your experience. I like that. Yeah. Yes, share your thoughts with, uh, below and also leave future recommendations. But yes, yeah, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force, force of life. life. All right, bye, bye guys.